the bullet hit up here on the hill and rolled to the hole. So, first hole. See what the hell we can do. It's always my bugaboo is putting. I should make a lot more birdies than I do. I get hot sometimes. Sometimes not so much. Uh. How about that? Sometimes they go in two different drivers. Today I'm gonna experiment with one's a five degree short stick, and then I got a 11 degree long stick. Give it the fade. So there's the short stick fader. And I'm gonna turn this off. Um, it was a little further, it faded a little more than I wanted. But I should be in good shape. I prefer left side, but it's probably gonna be right. But next one's a layup anyway. I'm not going to hit that particular driver long enough to get all the way deep down. I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so that ball traveled a lot further than I wanted. Caught the fairway here and then there's a hill and I never want to make that hill. So it rolled down to the right here. It's okay. I should be able to play a pitching wedge or something up and over. So don't panic. <clears throat> play a good shot the next one. And that driver flew further than I thought. <clears throat> okay. Just literally get something to get over that tree. Short of the water. I'm gonna try a nine Little nine fade around just over this tree, this little one here, and then fade around the big one. <laughs> and I'm going up the left side because it really didn't have a choice when you block yourself out like that. But it wasn't a bad drive to start. <sighs> just get to 150 and less. That's all you got to do. Par five, don't worry about it. Be a little airing in the first one. It doesn't matter. It's what the second shot counts, and I have a good angle in. I'm breathing hard, it's because I'm walking fast and the air is stifling. 
absolutely stifling. Okay. Good hard eight iron. It's about 165 with the flag back. So I got another birdie putt. Well, the ball checked. A little bit shy compared to Divot. Push it in the bunker. Sometimes you miss. I missed right right into the bunker. Well, got lucky. I don't know if it's lucky, but got something. Ball skipped through the bunker. It's in the grass here. Downhill line. <clears throat> is get it up so I can putt it the hole little sandwich using a 56 degree just get it to where you can putt for par and screw up just hang in there never give up ever keep grinding can see why the short game's so darn important. You know, that pitching that I do in the, my backyard allows you to save stuff when you screw up. And it's all strokes, wasted strokes if you can't get up and down. And I'm not saying I get up and down all the time, but it's not too bad. Go up the uh, left side, fade it. Got that water. Stick with the plan. Hey, headed just off this pole here. And you can see I got lucky. It didn't fade. It started on the line I want. But it faded just a little. So now I got eh, 100 and 
160 by line of, well, 170 probably, and, but it's uphill. Tried to hit the six iron, got it a little fat. Came away short, I had to bounce it in. So, it's stuck in a fairway. It's wetter today. No excuses, screwed up. It's on the hardest hole on the golf course. You had to scramble. I wanna come away with the four on this hole. You rarely birdie it unless you bomb a drive to where I'm walking right now in the hundred. See the ball? Right. Middle of fairway. Sun's coming out, it's getting even hotter. You can see the ball here. Should have used a five iron. Just got caught up in the grass. I got maybe 30, 40 yards, and I'm gonna use Runyon. I'm gonna chip a six iron and let it run. Ooh. About as good as you can do. So once again, up and down, get the pot. Get the putt for par. You know, three feet, get it inside five feet, whatever. Just keep going. See, it's, yeah, it's about five feet. Maybe, man, yeah, three. Doesn't matter. Scramble. When you're off, you're off. Don't think a lot, just put them in. React. I think this is becoming my annual 4th of July video. It's here last year, I think with Roger. He played here. They let me go off early, so I can film. Very nice people here. I'll put some juice on it, extra juice, and hit it, pull it left. Should be on the green, but it's not going to be really a birdie putt. I'll do my best to get par here. These first holes are basically all uphill, so I like walking it and getting my exercise in. It's beautiful. See how it's starting to brighten up. The sun came out. So it's quite lovely, very green. See where this ball ended up. Yeah, it's pulled it. Yeah, 25, 30, probably 30 feet. Okay, so protect yourself. Get your par. I don't know if that's in the camera or not. Here, let's put it up on the hill. Hopefully you're in the shot.
bit of a defensive putt, but it's funny. You, you go get the line, had a lot of break. But it normally is faster because of all the dew and wet and not cut. And, you know, so it almost goes in. I think it was just six inches, four inches. All right, good hole here. Sure, par four. All you got to do is get it somewhere inside the hundred. That's really all you got to do. Well, not very good. Should have hit a five wood. The matrona on the left. That's where you run into issues. Going for too much. Got out of my game plan. Alright. This is usually a birdie hole for me. And I don't know if it will be with what I did. So here you are. Right at a hundred. Not a good hit. But we're missing fairways today, unusual. Ship it in. Released. Hit it right on the button and it released on me. Supposed to one hop stop and it jumped on me. So it went past the flag. One of those shots that you go, oh, so close. So it went all the way off the green. Back pin. Give it was perfect. Yep. There's a divot right here. And didn't catch. Didn't catch this spin. So we're gonna run you in it. It's only about 15 feet. So let's run in it. See how we do. Left it out to the right. So difficult. No pump. Just a par and a birdie hole. It's okay, go. All right, keep par. Okay, little baby par three, usually 140, 135, something like that. Flags have been back today, so it could be a little more. They play up to 150, and guess what? It's all the way back 150. So, I'm gonna just try and get it down this chute. The trees block things. So if you don't get it down the chute, the trees grab it. Stream is off today. So once again, a pull. Good hit, but a pull, and it's too far. Um, I took the nine, try and get it back there. It's 
We're gonna blast in a pitching wedge going higher. I slammed a nine and with being off, slightly left, hit the green, but pin high, bounced off, I believe. We'll see. When you're a little bit off, what it usually is, is the, um, you're snatching down or turning really fast into the strike. You know, it's usually what it is. I don't see a ball, so I might have flown everything. Uh, where are you, little ball? Up. Oh. All the way off. So, gave myself a tough pitch. And I probably will have to pitch it. Okay, so make the putt. The eyes line. Go home. Where are you going to go? Stroke it to the home. Way too much effort on these. I'm battling it today. Here's my divot, by the way. So I was just long. About five yards. Enough to get in trouble. One thing, I used to count greens and regulation, and that was my sole thing I looked at. Now, today I'm not doing too well, but it's really a number you want to get up out of everything. Get it as high as you possibly can. But if you miss, practice pitching, like I do in the yard. I mean, Runyon is super if you can get a clear shot at it or the light dictates it. But when you're stuck and you gotta hit that sandy, that sandy wedge, and just do it. Just playing up today. I don't know where to flag. Oh, the flag's dead in the middle. Let's show you a different way of playing the hole with just the five here. No. Goes the stairway. So just because I can drive it doesn't mean you have to. So, you know, if I'm off, which I'm off today, then go to your strength, which is mine is my five wood, my three wood. I hit those so dead straight. I always know that I will get my swing back grabbing the five. My five wood usually travels, you know, 235 to 255. So I'm guessing I'll be at around 40 yards, 30 yards, something like that. You get a club. My, my five is a, I believe it's a 17 degree five wood. And for me, with the shaftling I put on it, you know, it, it'll get this beautiful little spin underneath it. it rises up. Use a good ball. Bridgestone works well softer I've been playing today with Kirkland and Bridgestone so 
and uh, I just tried out quick ones. They're a little too hard. They don't, they don't stop. So here you are. All right. I don't know what we got. Let's find out. Off this deal on these. Well, I'd like a gimme, but that's not going to happen. The uh, ball, it's soft in front, which is what I wanted. So I did the one hopper right to here. Got a putt. On the low side. Oh. So you get into this thing, I mean, how are you looking at it? <laughs> you missed a putt, so what? Big deal. No, you don't have to worry about crap like that. Pros, maybe don't miss. No, and that's maybe 10 feet, I don't know, 11. So, is it something you freak out about? No, because there's days where I just make them. I mean, there's days where I don't miss. And today's just a little bit harder than most. One under, I got one more chance in this par five. I mean, course isn't easy you know so you just take what it gives you you know try not to make mistakes look hitting f5 wood is the right thing to do when you're off play to your strengths my strength is chipping and pitching Irons are off today, but usually it's iron. Can hit it straighter than that. I'll just lay up. Won't risk any crazy shots. Get down the middle of the fairway. And see what happens. My goal is try and set it on a path. I aim at trees or high points in the horizon. Say, okay, line that up. And then shut my mind off. And most of the time, the ball will go where you last had your vision. Where you put imprinted that into your brain. You know, you don't sit there and not move. If you ever notice, I dance my feet around. You know, sedentary, uh, frozen, call it different things. But as long as I'm moving, I'm pretty good. And... You know, that was the case when I was a kid. As long as I was moving, he gave me a ball. I was good. You catch me in rhythm, I was better. Not just good. So, shortstop, same thing. Playing shortstop, third base, any of those. You're moving, second base. You're moving your feet. You know, outfield, you're moving before that strike. That's the goal. Keep moving. Keep your feet moving. All right. I don't see a ball. 
Ah, uh, there it is. Okay. That's good. Got a good... This is like, ha, huh, I could hit a nine, an eight, whatever. Let's... It's enough water. Let's hit an eight. So I pulled that ball, but you got the perfect angle in because it's down left. So it's in good shape. And why am I pulling? Because the shoulders, right shoulder is going round too much and then down first. So if you see that and you have a pattern of going the wrong way, change it. So this will be 140 yards. Forty-six yards coming in. So I'm gonna take a really hard nine on. Desk. You know, do I take a divot? Well, about that big. See how long that is. That's right to the hole. Ah, uh, 20 feet. So I ended up being far short of where I normally would want. I had a visitor the whole way following me, watching. See, it's distractions. You gotta shut them out. No matter what it is, shut the distractions out. Not easy. that because I misread it? No, I had to read right. Yeah. You end up three inches outside to the right. Is that my roll? Tend to bounce. So if you 
can give it a good roll on the outside of the cup and just play for feel. There, I pulled it. Watch this. Along your eye line. 